I was reassured Wednesday of why I have no faith in the legal system, in the police, in the law that are not made to protect us black and brown people. But when I speak on it, I'm considered an angry black woman. Mm. But know this, I am an angry black woman. Yeah. I am not angry for the reasons that you would like me to be. Right. Right. But angry because our black women keep dying at the hands of people mm. black men. and black men. Mm. Okay. Angry because our children are dying at the hands of police officers. Mm -hmm. And I'm angry because this nation is learning that our black women dying at the hands of police officers, and this is not okay. Mm -hmm. I hope you never know the pain of your child being murdered 191 days in a row. Mm -hmm. To meet the pain. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Breonna Taylor, entire family is heartbroken. Yeah devastated, and outraged, and confused, and bewildered, just like all of us, as to what did Kentucky Attorney General Daniel Cameron present to the grand jury? Did he present any evidence on Breonna Taylor's behalf? Or did he make a unilateral decision to put his thumb on the scales of justice to help try to exonerate mm. and justify the killing of Breonna Taylor by these police officers, and in doing so, make sure that Breonna Taylor's family never got their day in court. That's why we are standing here today, united in solidarity, declaring and demanding that he release the transcripts of the grand jury proceedings so we can know if there was anybody giving a voice to Breonna Taylor.